What's up everybody, Johnny Omega here giving you my review of Dora in the Lost City of Gold. Having spent most of her life exploring the jungle, nothing could prepare Dora for her most dangerous adventure yet. High school. Accompanied by a ragtag group of teens and Boots the Monkey, Dora embarks on a quest to save her parents while trying to solve the seemingly impossible mystery behind a lost Incan civilization. Now, if you were around in the early 2000s, whether you had kids or not, odds are you know who Dora the Explorer is. And if you're under the age of 21, odds are you watched Dora the Explorer growing up. So when you factor in the name recognition and the nostalgia that Generation Z has for this property, this movie's bound to make money. But the question is, is there any good? And the answer, <laughs> yeah, it actually is. Starting with what I liked about the movie, I like how they set up the characters and then quickly progress the timeline. And what I mean by that is for about the first 10 minutes of the movie, Dora's the age she's known to be in the cartoon, then it skips about 10 years and now she's a teenager. And that's where a lot of the humor comes from in this movie because she's about 16 or 17 years old, but she still acts exactly the same way as she did as a little kid. So her interactions with people are some of the funniest parts of the movie. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Isabella Mona does a great job playing Dora. You definitely buy into the fact that she's a lot live action version of this character. Another thing I liked about this movie is the writing. This movie does a good job of not only entertaining the kids, but also the adults that have to watch this movie too. I was actually very surprised with how good they did that part of the movie. As far as what I didn't like about the movie, there were really only two things, but both of those things fall on me because I'm not the target audience for this movie. The first thing is, is that outside of Dora, everybody else is pretty bland, but I'm not sure if that was purposefully done because this is Dora's movie. And some of these characters just seemed way too animated and over the top. The other thing is that outside of the ones that Dora told, a lot of the jokes really didn't land and they were real cheesy. And a couple of the jokes are ongoing, which became a problem because they weren't funny the first time they were said, which means they weren't funny the fifth or sixth time they were said. But again, I'm not the target audience, so I'm sure the little kids in the theater ate that stuff up. So in conclusion, the overall story was good and was pretty entertaining for a kids movie. Acting wise, Isabella Monner was easily the best part of this movie. And this movie doesn't really have much replay value if you're watching it by yourself, but if you're watching it with a family, especially if you have little kids, definitely a good time. All that being said, I say this movie is worth a watch. So comment below and let me know what you guys thought of the movie. And also, if you're in that age range that grew up watching Dora, I'd particularly like to know what you guys thought. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button to see what we got coming next.